In this video, I'll be going through the overcurrent and overvoltage faults on the Galt G500 series variable frequency drive. You'll know that you're having an overcurrent or overvoltage fault because your keypad will be displaying OC or OV. Now, the first thing you want to check is the wiring connections are good on both the VFD and your motor. Double check your rotor on the motor, make sure it turns freely, and go through your motor parameters, which are 2.01 through 2.05. You'll also wanna check the your incoming power is correct, check the phase to phase and phase to ground. All right, so if you're seeing OC1 or OV1 fault on your keypad, this is due to an acceleration issue. The first thing you can check is parameter 0, 0 0.11 and increase your ramp speed. The next thing you can try is to enable the catch to spinning load or windmill start by setting parameter number 1.00 to a value of two. Now, if you're seeing OC2 or OV2, this is a deceleration issue. The first thing you can do is very similar, change parameter 00.12 and increase your decel time. You can also adjust stall prevention or regen avoidance on your drive. The first thing you wanna to do to check this is verify that parameter 11.03 is set to a value of one and then go to uh, parameter 11.04 and set the value to 120% to engage regen avoidance. If you're still having this fault, you may need to install external braking resistors in addition to modifying these parameters. If you're seeing OC3 or OV3, this is a constant speed issue. Now, most commonly, this is because your motor may be going bad or it could be too small for the load. The first thing you wanna do is measure the motor. Check and make sure the motor is still good. If the steps in this video haven't solved the problem, one other thing you could try is to just reset the parameters on your drive to the factory defaults. If you're still finding that you have issues, feel free to reach out one of our technical experts for extra help.